Yeah, it's Sunday morning now. I'm looking at that house. I've been turning the cam on when I get by this house, right? The one they're building. It's starting to look like a couple of houses. I gotta see if there's a gap. They did a lot of work yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. They did a lot of work yesterday. And you see that property back there all the way in the back. It's brown wood. Let's see what's fit. If I had one of my cameras, DSLR cameras, I could zoom in on that house back there and this house. I could be like right up on there. Nobody's working today. It's like 7 o'clock Sunday. No one's working, it's quiet. A lot of people asleep. A lot of people getting ready for church. Yeah, they did a lot of them. I said they was gonna close it off. Now look at from here, look. From here. They closed off this one side. And I'm going to take a break. I'm going to say close it all up. I'm not going to record maybe for a few days to a week. And when they get it all boarded up with the ply board. Yeah, that's a nice. You people don't know if I'm looking at a movie or FaceTiming with somebody or unless I just start posing, taking position like I'm shooting the film. I mean the recording. See, look at here. And they boarding this up, boarding this up too. That's all I really want. That's all I really ever always wanted when thinking about a home. That's all I ever really wanted. It was like a small, maybe. Now I'm gonna think, now I think smaller. Before I was thinking about family. Now I'm thinking for myself. It may be an extra bedroom. That's about it now. Before I was thinking big, but I can't find no woman that's willing to be down. All these bitches want to do is try to divorce rape your ass and leave you single again with no fucking money. I learned that shit a long time ago. Yeah, I learned that a long time ago. That's all they want to do. So how are you going to really trust and put your eggs in one basket? Because you're going to get to the age where you're going to see that pussy ain't shit. It's probably going to be maybe after your ass get beat up for child support and divorces and separations and you still got to pay. Me, I mostly paid because uh, out of pride and out of responsibility and man pride. You see, that's what keeps this planet. That's how this planet developed into civilized, half-assed civilized place see that's how that happened because men naturally is going to make a family it's naturally going to be his motherfucking duty you don't need nobody to tell you anything even before there was language 
You don't need nobody to tell you. You motherfuckers is big. Y'all are animals. One motherfucker gonna be fucking up another one. That's what makes men men. Okay, let's just say like, I don't know, 15,000 years ago, 20,000 years ago. Think about whatever you want before there was communication, right? People had to go buy something. Body language, expressions on the face, you know, turning colors like white people turn red, <laughs> you know, <laughs> when they get mad, <laughs> their blood pressure go up, they turn red, you can see that, where a black person ain't going to turn red when they get mad, a black person's going to be more physical. With white put the terms red, so for there was communication. You had to go buy something. So there was the men. Men is big, women are smaller. So when the men get get it on, they killing each other. Tearing each other to pieces and shit. Bitches just stand by and just watch. They know they fucking place. <laughs> Cause they just watch the men tear each other apart. Take your fucking girl. Take your bitch. That's how that started happening. That's how that started. Physical. Now, they got machines and computers and stuff. So it's not the muscle guy that's running the world anymore. A female could do machine shit. Could press a button. Hit some keys. That's what happened. Yeah, that's all that happened. That's it. That's all that happened. If you make a push button to hit keys, that's it. When the Industrial Revolution came about, they start making, they start making machinery. And they start talking about, oh, it's putting a lot of men out of work. And it did. But what it also did was, empower females because now they ain't gotta carry hundreds of pounds of shit a day and the bitch ain't gonna do that today either the bitch today ain't gonna be over there on that still picking up steel over there on them building they building back over there you may see them hoes carrying a buck in them third world countries carrying a bucket of water or a vessel of water on their fucking head or something. That's technique. That's really not strength. Even if somebody gotta help them put that shit on their head. If it's too heavy. That's just technique, man. That's as simple as that. And that's what made, that's what made women able to get on the workforce. And especially when there was wars and stuff, that's guys again, going out, killing each other, you know? Now there's guns. I ain't trying to say there never was no female warriors, because there always has been, even from the beginning. But they still was protected by the men. It's just simple. That's how men take land and takes people's shit. All the way until today, they're still doing it. Down the individual level, little brother to little sister, or little big sister to little brother, give me that candy. You know, mommy, Susie took my potato chips, or oh, whatever the fuck. Susie put a hand in my plate and took my piece of chicken or meatball or whatever the fuck it is. So Susie could do that. And the little one is screaming for mommy or daddy because Susie's bigger. 
Susie's stronger. That's why, in a way, it is a good thing that they have child protective services because parents be thinking that they own kids. You don't own your fucking kid. Your kid just came in this world through you. That's it. Your child came in this world through you, like a fucking portal. Came to this world through your fucking hole. Came in this world, came in this world through you, through your fuck hole. Where motherfuckers have been sticking their dicks at, pumping and skeeting up in there until something was strong enough where you was able to, um, where you was able to get impregnated. That's going to happen. You want a baby. Guy's pumping you out. He can't get you pregnant. So, you move on to the next one. Figure that out naturally. God's pumping you out. You've been together for years. It's got, you don't have any kids yet. She didn't even get pregnant. No abortions, no pregnancies. Your shit don't work. One of your shit don't work. Maybe both of your shits don't work. Or if you got a chick already that has kids, her shit works. You don't have any. And you've been skeeting all over the place as a dude. And you ain't get anyone pregnant yet. Your shit don't work. You gotta face that reality. You're not making, bringing any kids in this world. But it is good that they have uh, child protective services and foster care. And they give them bitches a chance. But in this day and age, these hoes are selfish. They ain't thinking about trying to raise no family. They too worrying about stuff. They too worried about appearances and stuff. Like they using themselves like a doll, like how they dress up dolls and shit. And play makeup and all that bullshit. These hoes are doing that for themselves and to themselves. Instead of keeping it 100 and keeping it fucking real, these hoes are playing games. Fuck all that bullshit about, oh, an alpha male this and a beta male that and all that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Hoes are hoes. People fuck. Or we wouldn't be here. You don't have to be in love. That shit is just nature. You don't have to be in love to make a baby or to have sex. That's nature's trick keep the to keep humans perpetually reproducing it's that simple and then once that you skeet once that feeling's gone that's it once you skeet or she skeets or bust a nut whatever you want to call it that's it bitch be like motherfucker get off of me same way when you skeet you get the fuck up you don't keep on going They say, I'm going for seconds. No, you're going to back out, wipe that shit off. Shit too slippery. Not enough friction. Wipe all that shit off. Take a breather. And then if the urge was to overcome you, I guess before that evening or night or morning or whatever, <laughs> you'd jump back in it, jump back on it again. Try to get that feeling again. That's just chemicals making you do that. Like I said, you're just being infatuated for a little bit. That could go on for overnight. That could go on for a week. It go on for months. But those chemicals are going to wear out. You're going to become insensitive to the chemicals. They're not going to react anymore. So you're going to back off and you're going to see 
what you've been, you know, pumping in. Pumping and dumping in. You're going to sit back and look. And you're going to say to yourself, I don't give two shits about this bitch. Or she may say to herself, I don't give two shits about this guy. I don't even know why I let him fuck me. Like I, all of us have heard before. I don't know why I ever married you. I don't know why I ever let you fuck me. Or the guy gets saying, I don't even know why I fuck your little funky hoe ass. You little fucking skank. Because <laughs> everybody else is fucking you. You ain't nothing special. It's another thing wrong with these women. That's where it all asked out too. These women running around trying to be like men when it comes to sex instead of respecting themselves. And then the daughters see, the children see, the mama's a whore. So then they go do the same thing. That's where foster care is good at with some families. But then foster care could be a nightmare too. Foster care could be a real nightmare. And you got pedophiles and all different kinds of other creepy people that's in the foster care just for that. But most of the time it's to save the kid from their parents. So that's how that works. Or well, one of the parents. And most of the time it's for selfish reasons because because mommy's not happy or some shit. So she wants to divorce or break up, break off the engagement or relationship. And it's like, bitch, we got a kid. What the fuck are you thinking about? <laughs> She's not thinking about the kid or you. She's thinking about herself. She ain't thinking about the kid or you. She's just thinking about herself. And a little funky ass. That's what happens. Selfishness. And that's uh, every woman that has children is not good mothers. Every child, every woman that has children are not good mothers. Same way like fathers. Some guys don't care. They're going to drop their wallet and go. They ain't trying to um, check the mail. <laughs> to see, you know, they ain't checking the oven. They ain't going to check your oven to see what's cooking. I don't even know what made me say that shit. But that's what it's like. It's like me out here checking the mail. I may go in my mailbox like once a week. <laughs> But I have informed mail so I can see it online and see what's in my box and see what packages are coming. That's because of my business, so I check for that. But if you ain't expecting anything or whatever, you're not going to check. And that's what guys do when they bust their load. And you only practice in protection of any kind. You ain't going to be checking. They say, did you have your period this month? Or you, you know, the motherfucker don't care. As far as he's concerned, the way these hoes are today, you women listening, you just gonna go ahead on and go back home to your husband or your boyfriend and suck his dick too and fuck him too and let him come in here too. And whoever else you like. Know how guys go around fucking girls they like and they want to fuck? Well, if your bitches wasn't giving niggas pussies and sucking dicks and stuff, niggas wouldn't be doing it. Because y'all are the gatekeepers of sex. So if y'all the ones that sucking dicks and letting niggas stick their dick in your ass and all that shit and fucking you, that's on you. Oh, it takes two. It takes two. But you're the gatekeeper. 
Yeah, it takes two. But you're the gatekeeper of sex. You're the one with the hole. You gotta lay back and spread your legs and let a guy put a sting in there. Let's get it, keep it real. Now, if he rapes you, that's a different story. That's a whole different story. If the guy takes it, or there's a bunch of guys that take it, and they run a train, and they go back to back one after another against your will, that's different. But if you're getting drunk and high with them, and all that, and you open up, it's like, it's like open season. Because you'll play yourselves like that. You'll put yourselves in that position. Think of the same guy I seen last Sunday. The one I told you that reached for his side. Like he had a firearm or something, maybe. Yeah, we walked past each other over here. Same time. He don't come here during the week. Because I come down this way. I don't see him. Yeah, it's the same thing. Same exact thing. So if you're out there like that, playing with men, you get caught up, that's on you. You could try and... You right here the same exact point. You know why? Because we both left at about the same time from our homes. That's why we're running on this corner, like clockwork. Yeah, you do that to yourself. Just like I said before, men are gonna take advantage of the weak. That's, this is why men run the place, because they're the stronger sex. They are the stronger sex. Physically. And as far as it comes, as far as it goes, with uh, who's smarter and this and that and all that, who gives a fuck? Nobody's smart. Uh, it's all intellect. It's like who we remember the most. Can a woman remember more than a man? Because that's all school is. All school is is a big old bullshit ass memory test. You just got to remember this shit you studied this week. They give you books to even reaffirm shit, okay? It's all bullshit. Then you run around talking about, oh, I got an associate. Oh, I got a bachelorette. Oh, I got a doctor. I got a master. I got a PA. Get the fuck out of here. You dummy. You just spent a whole lot of money to be a better fucking slave for the system. That's all the fuck you did. Unless you open up a business for yourself and you're still part of the system. You just don't have no immediate masters over you. Your damn sure ain't your own because you still got to pay taxes. You might have to pay people. It depends on what kind of business you're running. So, school is good for certain things. But I had people, they use that as a cop-out. About, oh, I was going to open up a, a doctor's office. You know, probably get the fuck out of here. Bitch, you better pay that $200,000, $175,000 you owe. And this interest is building. Cause that shit is never going anywhere. Like, go oh, for all of you bitches out there that you're worth this degrees. Now, if your degree is worth something, cool. If it's not, you've been had. Because it's a trick. It's a trick. Nothing but a big old memory test is what it is. It's a big ass memory test. That's all school is. It don't make you smart. It's just memory. You just gotta remember what the teacher taught you. 
and they give you quizzes and tests and you got to remember the answers that's all that don't make you fucking intelligent good morning <laughs> Yeah, that don't make you intelligent because you, damn, she was inquisitive. Yeah, that don't make you intelligent. It don't, that does not make you intelligent because you got a good memory. It's part of intelligence, yeah, but that don't make you smart. And people be owing all this money. Oh, she walks around the corner. I never seen her before. She nice too. Yeah. Here goes the guy. A mother and a boy, she's going for a walk, and he's making sure that mommy's safe. <laughs> yeah, so it's good that they have these agencies. And all these places to protect the children. There's a lot of foster care. Uh, there's a lot of foster care. Um, there's a lot of foster care. Uh, children in this country and then there's other countries where they don't even have really have like a foster care system and the kids is just running around like in villages like the third world countries they don't be having no foster care in the third world countries the kids just be running around crazy out in the street they be living like criminals because they got to eat too and they just out there. Because they can live in conditions. Which is sad, but it's real. But then you got these some of these mothers here in this country. They be beating their kids. They don't even pay attention to their children. They be too busy doing all this shit. Drinking, drugging dealing with trying to juggle men online and on the phone you know faces buried in the fucking phone online talking to some nigga or they at the computer desk with a bunch of windows open thinking they're doing something fucking slick call themselves making a rational choice about who they're going to date who's who might be a possible good catch and this and that, <laughs> and all that dumb ass shit. I basically seeing what they could get out of somebody. Like who's the, like who's the best sucker I could catch out there? Cause trust me, if you was in a bitch's crib, you'd be standing over her shoulder and you would see it. There'd be a bunch of windows open and a bunch of different men they're chatting with. Sometimes they get caught up and be, I learned that like 20, more than 20, about 21 years ago, I learned that. Because people will be talking to you, and you're like, this bitch, she's on a whole different conversation. Who is she talking, what the fuck is she talking about? You know, the topic would be, she'd be on a whole different topic. That means that she has the window open, a bunch of windows open. That means she has a bunch of windows open and she's chatting with a bunch of different people at one time and you click on the wrong box and then type that bullshit in your box and then you're looking on your end like she got she must be she got me mixed up and you can see in the, <clears throat> the words that it's a guy she's talking to so you can catch him like that or they could be talking to you on the phone and be on another device still doing their thing and then may say something to you 
that doesn't make any sense. You know, why are they talking to you on the phone? And you'd be like, who the fuck? What? And you know that they're talking to someone else. Maybe they may, may, they may be at a laptop. Or they may have another phone. I have two phones. They may have another phone. You're chatting on the other phone. You know, texting. And you're talking on this phone. They, you know, that, you may, they may do that. So while you're talking to them, they're getting their, you know, their texting mixed up with their verbal. And they're like mixed course wires. <laughs> You'd be like, what the fuck you just said? <clears throat> and actually she was thought, you know, she got the text mixed up, the conversation mixed up. That's what they do. There's nobody don't be loyal anymore. <clears throat> that shit just made bitches a bunch of hoes. It's like anything else. Respect yourself. Number one, respect yourself. Women don't respect themselves anymore. They breathing out. They, you ain't gonna find no old fashioned. You ain't gonna find no old fashioned women anymore. They all think they men. They all competing with men. These women is like competing with their husbands. Like it's a fucking football game or some shit, or a boxing match. Instead of keeping their little stinking asses in their place. Here goes a helmet. Come on, they dropped the helmet. Yeah, instead of keeping staying in their place, they want to argue and fuss and fight. Instead of just staying in their place, being a lady, being a woman. Because you see the history of women. They've always been identified with nagging and fussing and all that stuff. That's just insecurity. That's all that is. Because they don't want their guy going out there and staying too long. But something might happen. Something may happen. And back in the day, you know, you're living in a village or some shit. And you're or a town here, people, your, the men go off the war. Now, women ain't gonna feel that secure anymore, but you still have the elders. The elders are gonna watch over. In other words, they can't really do that much sneaking around, sneak fucking and all that. Because there's people in the town going to see somebody come out of, in and out of your house. Say I'm off the war. The neighbors are going to see somebody come in and out of the house. A male. <clears throat> a male. So you don't want that. So a woman ain't going to play that. But these days, these hoes get by themselves just so that they can suck dicks. Yeah, dicks with an S on it. Which is really sad. There's nothing freedom. It's not free about that. That's not freedom. That's whoredom. They get these little bitches some little media attention and this and that. Some little bullshit ass jobs. Give them a piece of cake. They want the whole fucking thing. Or they want half of it and all this shit. And even then, um, when women get divorced, they be getting more than half. That's if you got children. You get more than half. <clears throat> you're getting half, plus you're getting child support. 
that's that. So, that guy is running around with three quarters of his money. He done got divorced. Now he got to live with her three quarters. One quarter of his money, she gets three quarters. That's fucking stupid. Then these bitches are running around out here like everything is okay. They didn't divorce their guy, divorce, rape his ass, take all his money, got to pay alimony and child support. Judge don't give a fuck. Judge is going to say you got to pay. So you guys out there here listening, hearing this? That's what's gonna happen. So you could go, do whatever you want. Go to college, get a two hundred thousand dollar fucking loan, be in debt for two hundred thousand, and counting, <laughs> and interest counting up every fucking day after a certain period, and then you call yourself getting married to a bitch. You get married, and. She stay with you for one year and a day. And your ass is grass. Now you want to hook for her too. If you got any, made any kids with her, <clears throat> you got to pay for them too. So, now, you got a $200,000 college loan for a fucking PhD or some shit. And even if you had a job, she taking half the fucking money. That's why you shouldn't fuck with a bum bitch. She taking half the money. Then you got kids. They're going to take some more. So now you're living off of <laughs> one quarter. And you still, you still got to pay that fucking loan back. And you might have a mortgage. And now... You got might have a more you got a mortgage. Now she's kicking your ass out the house. And the only reason she can stay in there is because she has the children. So she's kicking your ass out the house. And you're gonna be living in sleeping on your homie's couch. Or living in some kind of flea bag hotel or some shit. And you're going to be paying her, because they're going to take the money out of your check. What kind of life is that, man? They really ought to change all that up. But you got to take care of the babies. You have to. You got to take care of the babies. So, I gotta understand that. And actually, she should take care of half the baby too. Since they got this woman's right bullshit, bitch, get a job too. Or they should fucking. Lock her ass up too. Or she don't get a job or pay. I don't give a fuck you gotta scrub toilets. No, they wouldn't do that. You know what they'll do? Take the kid, get on welfare, and suck dick and fuck niggas for money. Use the housing to do that. Use the government housing. And have her own little... private little prostitute joint a little private brothel call over a couple of her girlfriends they get high go to the club you know she got a two bedroom or three bedroom house that she done fucking took from your ass got a spare bedroom her and her friends could pull tricks <laughs> She get a cut out of that too. Stinking hoes.
in my experience, I done been all over Canada. Not all the way up north there with them motherfuckers. I'm talking about where it's developed civilization at and shit. You know, where there's cities and stuff. I done been coast to coast. Canada and the US, US. I ain't never been to Mexico. Canada and the US. I'm gonna see what this thing tastes like. I picked a uh, berry off the tree. I never seen this before. Never seen this thing. A little bit of, it don't smell sweet. It don't smell like anything. I'm gonna taste it. bitter so that shit goes away that's bitter so if I was out in the woods I wouldn't eat that if I had to if I was out in the wild it doesn't mean that it's no good it may be not ripe but I seen some on the ground that's just nasty as fuck I, I thought it was going to be something like a, like how a blueberry or a raspberry or a boysenberry be. It looked more like, that's just nasty, just a little bit too. It looked more like a, a, a plum, like how the color of a plum is inside. It was like that. From what I was looking at, I expected it to be like, you know, dark purple looking on the inside. But I was wrong. That probably means something too. Purple on the inside and purple on the outside. Yeah, so there's always a lot of bullshit going on with this society. And it's the masters of this world. The real owners that's running things. They can't run it straight up, so they gotta use clandestine, underhanded, ambiguous ways, ambiguous ways to make you think that your reality is the, is the way it's supposed to be, because of some, all different ideas. Mostly it's from God, you know. And it took that concept and it made a mockery out of nature all the way down to tearing up the rainforest and all this type of shit. And mass producing animals and killing animals and throwing away food and there's people starving this place fucked up. They just making it where they making this whole um they making this whole planet the hood. That's what's happening. And that's what they're trying to do. That's where all that one world government shit comes in at. Because they trying to make the whole planet one hood. One selfish hood. And that's what it's turning out to be. One big old selfish fucking place. Where everybody's going for self. And like being a family. The families that you see. That's been here. In this country for the last you could say. I would say uh, 20 years. Like this generation. done ruined everything the way they done screwed up this planet this generation I'm not blaming the kids I'm talking about this grown motherfuckers or you could say last generation that are grown ups now they done fucked this place up and it's making it worse and worse 
because you got these selfish ass teenagers and it's and it's, and it's, in, and it's coming up with the little kids too you got little babies with cell phones fake cell phones and tablets and laptops all that kind of shit so they want a cell phone like eight years old seven years old they're bringing cell phones into grade school what kind of shit is that what's up with that and definitely in junior high school okay this dude ran up on the sidewalk that's what I was telling y'all before and I got the cam right on his ass too I'm facing the street this dude ran up on the sidewalk and I'm looking here and I see a lot of black marks down here look